entering and exiting the roundabout, encountering an emergency vehicle on the roundabout. Welcome to the Windsor-Essex Parkway roundabout video. The following video will help you to understand how to properly enter and exit a roundabout, travel straight through and make left and right turns in the roundabout, and identify what to do when you encounter an emergency vehicle. Hello, my name is Elizabeth. I am a member of the Windsor-Essex Parkway team and considered a roundabout expert. Today, I am going to help you learn how to properly navigate the Windsor-Essex Parkway multi-lane roundabout. Listen closely and watch for my yellow car as I guide you through the proper navigation of the parkway roundabout. Let's start off by labeling the key elements of the roundabout. Number one, this is the central island. Number two, truck apron. Number three, splitter island. Number four, yield lines. Slow down and keep to the right of the splitter island as you approach the roundabout. Depending on your intended destination, choose the left or right lane. Yielding at the roundabout entrance, wait for an adequate gap in circulating traffic to enter. When there is an adequate gap in circulating traffic, enter the roundabout. To make a left turn, you must move into the left lane when approaching the roundabout. Yielding at the roundabout entrance, wait for an adequate gap in circulating traffic. When there is an adequate gap in traffic, enter the roundabout. Once in the roundabout, stay in the left lane. When approaching the intended exit, Signal right and exit the roundabout from the left lane. To make a right turn, you must move into the right lane when approaching the roundabout. Yielding at the roundabout entrance, you must wait for an adequate gap in circulating traffic. When there is an adequate gap in traffic, enter the roundabout. Once in the roundabout, stay in the right lane. When approaching the intended exit, signal right and exit the roundabout from the right lane. Drivers heading straight through may use either the left or right lane when approaching the roundabout. Yielding at the roundabout entrance, wait for an adequate gap in circulating traffic. When there is an adequate gap in traffic, enter the roundabout. Once in the roundabout, stay in your lane. When approaching the intended exit, Signal right and exit the roundabout while staying in your lane. All traffic within the roundabout will occur in a counterclockwise direction. Larger vehicles, such as transports, may take up more than one lane while navigating the roundabout. 
Drivers should be mindful of this. Drivers should always indicate their intended exit with a right turn signal. If you miss your intended exit, circle the roundabout again until you reach your intended exit. Now we are going to discuss what to do when encountering an emergency vehicle in the roundabout. If you have not yet entered the roundabout, pull over to the right if safe to do so, allowing the emergency vehicle to pass and then enter the roundabout. You may only enter the roundabout once the emergency vehicle has exited the roundabout. If you are in the roundabout when an emergency vehicle enters, stay calm. Continue on your route within the roundabout and take your intended exit. Do not pull over if you are in the roundabout. Once you have exited the roundabout and passed the splitter island, pull over to the right, allowing the emergency vehicle to then pass. Drivers should be aware that in no circumstance, except to avoid a collision, should you ever stop in the roundabout. It was great showing you the Windsor-Essex Parkway roundabout today. If you are looking for more information on roundabout safety and navigation, visit www.ontario.ca forward slash roundabout or www.weparkway.ca or follow us on Twitter.